everyone. My name is Sona Rafiq, and I'm a, I've been working for four years. I'm a professional influencer, model, and yeah, I've, it's been an incredible, incredible journey. I get to meet amazing people, amazing brands. Uh, you know, with, with my parents, I remember I was the first born. I'm the first of four siblings, and they have given me so much love, so much affection. They would tell me that, Sona, you can do anything in the world. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, I can. You know, it became my reality, and I think it kind of, you know, has a snowball effect to your life. And, um, but then comes reality also. You know, when your parents give you so much love, you want to give them, give something back to them, then you want to be serious. You want to be responsible, you want to be realistic. And being responsible met, meant that I had to do banking and finance to make my dad happy. I don't, I don't know if I was really into it, but it just made them so happy. I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. But no, clearly it didn't last for too long. Um, and then I remember when I told my dad also that, you know, I want to get into, you know, the fashion industry and stuff. And he's like, but what about your degree? What about all of this? And I was like, dad, just trust me on this. You know, I think I can do it. And then again, my mom was like, but the society and everyone, I was like, trust me, I can do it. And I remember my first ever shoot because of all the insecurities, I couldn't even pose. I was just stuck. Because I just thought, what am I doing here? I don't even know how to pose, I remember. One of them, Shireen Rahman also told me, she's like, what are you doing? You don't know how to pose. And then, um, because posing in front of the mirror is always so easy, but posing in front of people is really not easy. But I would have met people who again supported me and they told me stories about them and how they went through it. And I think that was it. It was magic. It was magic and I came home and I thought I found my calling. And your calling can be anything. It could be your your degree, like your finance, business, art, food, and mine was fashion. Because I remember when I was very young, um, I saw it, there was a teacher in my school and she would just dress beautifully. She just knew, you know, and I, and I you know, you'd think that magazines and TV shows would make you want to learn about fashion and everything, but no, it was my teacher. And one thing I realized, you know, that she would just dress with confidence. You know, it's not even important being tall because clearly I'm 5'2", and I lie to people, I'm 5'3", but yeah, I'm 5'2", and it's not important being skinny, fair, it was just confidence, and that was the key. Just be confident, and when you're confident, you can wear whatever you want, and you look good. That's what I realized. And yeah, but um, something about my industry, I also realized that, you know, it looks amazing. Someone's taking your picture, and you know, you're looking great, and you're looking amazing, but it's really not that. You know, there are days we have to be up at three in the morning. And um, there are days we have to work for 20 hours, imagine, 20 hours and back to back. You keep traveling and you know, you don't get to spend time with your family, your partner, your friends. You miss occasions like, you know, birthdays, weddings, anniversaries. And my husband is really upset about that one. But yeah, you know, you can't stop. When you're in it, when you love something so much, you cannot stop. But that's the point, you know, you have to find a balance in all the, you know, in all this situation because if you don't find that kind of balance, then you, your health gets affected and you don't want that to happen either. And yeah, you know, one thing I've realized, just be you, be authentic. And, you know, I would never trade this life for anything else. And I found such amazing friends who always hype me up and look at them taking my videos right now. I love that. And uh, my partner who has been so, so supportive and my parents, my dad still has his doubts, but when he sees me now, he's like, okay, you know what? I think you did great. I think you did really good in life. And yeah, you know, I, someone told me um, that if you love what you do, you know, it feels like you've never worked a day in your life. And I think that's with me. I love what I do so much that I actually feel like I don't work hard at all. And it wasn't the safe option, but I'm glad I did it. Thank you guys.